Hi, welcome to Scope Maths video. In our last video, we looked at the laws of logarithms and we looked at three very important laws whenever we deal with logarithms. The fact that log to base a of x plus log to base a of y is equal to log to base a of xy. We looked at the fact that whenever we're subtracting logarithms, log to base a of x subtract log to base a of y, it's equal to log to base a of x over y. And then finally, we looked at if we had log to base a of x to the power of n, you can bring down the power. So we looked at those three laws of logarithms and we looked at some questions involving numbers and also algebra as well. In this video, I want to look at some special cases. So I want to look at the fact that log to base a of a is equal to 1. The fact that log to base a of 1 is equal to 0. They're just really using your knowledge of logarithms. And also the fact that log to base a of 1 over x is equal to minus log to base a of x. So let's have a look at each of these now. So in terms of the first one, log to base a of a is equal to 1. Well, think about it. In terms of logarithms, we say, well, if this is the base, what power would you raise this by to get this? Well, if we've got a, we've got a, it would be a to the power of 1. So let's have a look at another example. If we had log to base 8 of 8, well, what do we raise 8 by to get 8? Well, 8 to the power of 1 is equal to 8. So the answer would be 1. Or if we had log to base 4 of 4, what power do you raise 4 by to get to 4? Well, that would be 1 as well. So if you have log to base a of a, the answer will always be equal to 1. Okay, let's look at our next special case. That's the fact that log to base a of 1 is equal to 0. Well, think about it here. If we've got a base of a, what power would you raise it to to get 1? Well, that'll be 0 because a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Likewise, if we had log to base 10 of 1, we'll be saying, what power do we raise 10 by to get 1? Well, it's going to be to the power of 0. So that'll be equal to 0. So if you're taking the log of 1, that's always going to be equal to 0. Okay, let's look at our last special case. Our last special case is log to base a of 1 over x is equal to minus log to base a of x. Well, if we consider 1 over x, well, if we had x to the power of minus 1, that's the same as 1 over x. Because if you have something to the power of minus 1, that's 1 over. So here, instead of writing log to base a of 1 over x, I'm going to write log to base a of x to the power of negative 1. Because obviously 1 over x is the same as x to the power of negative 1. And then if we think back to our third law of logarithms, the fact that we have log to base a of x to the power of n, you can bring down the power. So here, if we bring down this power, which is minus 1, that would be minus 1 times log to base a of x, or, or just minus log to base a of x. So just bringing that minus 1 down in front of the logarithm, and instead of writing minus 1, I'm just going to write minus. And that's it. So log to base a of 1 over x would be equal to minus log to base a of x. And that actually might come in useful, because if we had something such as log to base 5 of a quarter, instead of writing here log to base 5 of a quarter, we can actually then write minus log to base 5 of 4. And that might come useful for some questions. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at three special cases. The fact that log to base a of a is equal to 1. And that makes sense because a to the power of 1 would be equal to a. Log to base a of 1 is equal to 0. And that again makes sense because a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And finally, we also looked at the special case that log to base a of 1 over x would be equal to minus log to base a of x. And again, that makes sense because this would be x to the power of negative 1 because that's 1 over x. So this is x to the power of negative 1. And then if you bring that power down, that negative 1, one down, we'd have minus log to base a of x. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at some special cases for the laws of logarithms. And that's it.